So uh, I present uh, my research about uh, machine learning and Python. Uh, I, this project during for one year, so uh, in a big big data set with uh, two million uh, two million malware. So here I focus just a little data set uh, named the zoo, and I. I love Mac. <laughs> okay, uh, and I present uh, a different way to use uh, machine learning and Python to clustering uh, a data set, malware, to generate uh, Yara rules. Uh, any, everybody knows Yara? Is, uh, okay, I, uh, pre I, um, I define Yara, uh, the Yara rules and uh, how to uh, to process with the outs to make hunting and to uh, define different rules to um, to make hunting on the virus total or uh, uh, EDR like uh, girl for example. So uh, my name is Sebastian Arinier. Uh, my handle on Twitter is Seb Draven. Uh, if uh, my presentation is bad, you can wrote, uh, write uh, in uh, my email address for uh, remarks or, uh, or question. Um, I'm organizer of BotConf. Uh, BotConf is an international uh, conference about botnet in during uh, at December at Paris the, this year, uh, the, 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 the two, two years ago. Uh, the, next, the next year uh, it's Montpellier in south of France and the next year we made that at Toulouse. Toulouse is a, a city of south of France. So uh, you're welcome. Uh, to present and to submit at the uh, CFP because the CFP is, uh, is uh, open. And I support different, uh, different stuff open source and all, uh, all uh, stuff open source is directly on my uh, GitHub. Um, it's uh, here, so uh, you can, you can uh, use the different, uh, the different code, uh, share, uh, make a PR or commit. Uh, you're, you're welcome. So during uh, this topic, we talk about uh, malware PV format. PV format is a format for Windows executable. So uh, I focus my work only on this kind of malware. Uh, we talk about clustering. I define uh, this uh, clustering. The clustering is not the same thing as the classification in machine learning. So uh, I may, um, I present different definitions about machine learning to use the same word uh, because uh, machine learning has the own world and we have on cyber security uh, our world. So the goal is to mix, to, uh, to have a, a good comprehension of, uh, of the, the clustering and the, the problem of the clustering. And uh, I speak about Yara and hunting. The hunting uh, principally, I make that on virus total directly. In a uh, virus total intelligence is very very useful to uh, to download new sample of uh, a family of uh, a new a campaign, and I define many many Yara uh, rules to follow different campaigns, APT campaigns or um, cyber crime campaigns. It depends. So, uh, per format definition and generalities. Uh, anybody, uh, everybody know per format or it's, it's new? Okay, so I, I make a quick. Um, it's a different layer. The first layer is, is the MS DOS header. The second layer is MS DOS headers. Is, Start with a magic number, MZ, as it starts. If you make an exam directly on the file, at the, the, fir, the, four, the four first uh, bytes is named MZ, is a magic number. After you have the segment, the segment is uh, your, uh, this program does, uh, does not uh, do uh, blah blah blah. P header, it starts with a PE uh, in, uh, in, the, in the layer. And you have a table of sections. Table of sections describe the different sections of the executable. 
And the section is uh, the piece of code, is the data, is the rogue location uh, when the PE is loaded by the operating system. So you have many, like ELF, you have many, many sections, but uh, you don't have a standard like ELF. Any, uh, anyone uh, make a compiler to um, create a name of a section for example, with uh, uh, non uh, UTF-8 characters. So uh, your, uh, if you have a, a parser of on ASCII, for example, your parser crashed. So uh, be careful. So it's very, very uh, easy to craft a name or a different section on a, of a P. It's not, you don't have a standard like ELF or DEX. Um, so, the P header uh, it's a C, st C structure with different uh, different uh, properties. So you can retrieve the magic number, and you have different uh, information. It's it's old information. The um, the operating systems don't uh, use this information now. He use any uh, information in the peri the peri um, periodors. You can just load periodors, and your your pay so your UI table um, is launched correctly on the operating system. Um, you have the periodors describe two uh, important headers: file headers and op optional headers. In the file headers. You have uh, the number, the number of section, uh, the kind of uh, machine of um, or computer is uh, uh, 32 bytes or uh, 64 uh, bytes. It's here. It's, it's described. You have uh, the different um, different interesting stuff like the number of symbols. Symbols is the name of inputs. The size of optional headers, because the optional headers follow the pair header. So in uh, an optional header, you retrieve uh, the magic but, and uh, an information very important in the address of entry point. The address of entry point of an executable is the first um, is the first assembly code was executed by the operating system. Is the first address a start when you launch the the executable? Uh, you have different information, name, um, um, the linker, the size of header, blah blah blah. It's not inter it's not interesting for for here, but uh, it's all all stuff is documented directly in the MSDN of Microsoft. It's not uh, it's not magic. <laughs> Uh, after you have image, di uh, image directory, image directory is more uh, is more interesting because uh, oh, it's a bit little. So uh, you have for uh, different um, directory entries very interesting. For example, it's uh, directory entry and import. The import is a function of uh, operating system or used by the, the, the program or the malware. So um, it's uh, it's very uh, interesting when uh, you you make a malware analysis. You have export uh, table. The export table if uh, you developed uh, a DLL and you expose different function to uh, to use by another program. So it's uh, it's defined in this kind of um, of uh, export uh, table. The resource the resource is. Uh, the icons of your software, the strings of your software, our stuff is uh, is uh, directly stored in the resource of um, of, uh, of the, the software, and you can store, for example, another executable on the resource and uh, directly read the new uh, the new malware or the new software. The resource it's a uh, um, uh, a poor technique packing, but it's a, a, a technique packing. Uh, another information interesting is uh, the, um, the entry security uh, table. Entry security, it's uh, like here, the certificates uh, are stored in, uh, in the executable if you sign your, your software. 
and when you sign your software, you install directly the in this uh, the, in this entry the different uh, the different certificates. So you can uh, you can check if the the developer software is uh, is good or not. Uh, another information interesting in the uh, entry debug it's uh, the symbol of debug when you when you de uh, you debug your your, your software uh, many many developers of malware forget to erase the information debug so you have different information for nickname for uh, the kind of operating system so, so you have many many information to uh, make a picture of uh, the developer And another uh, layer on P, uh, interesting, it's a table of section. So the table of section, the section is um, really the, the, piece, the piece of code of uh, the software or uh, the data or the resources. You have different, uh, different layers. And you have um, a, f um, a name. You have a physical address and you have a virtual size when the, the section is loaded on the on the memory because our section of a peer is loaded of in a, by a page of memory directory and uh, if you use a debugger you reach, uh, you find the same name of a section the length of uh, of the executable. And another uh, truth is interesting is the characteristics. The characteristics define if your section is a executable write or read, uh, readable write or um, read, uh, readable write. If you have a section of code, normally you have uh, a section uh, with the write in uh, execution and in readable. The, the, the operating system can be read the section and can execute the code in the section. If you have a data section, you have just uh, you have just read the data. So normally, a data section has just uh, it just can be uh, readable right directly on the data section. When uh, a malware uses technique like uh, process allowing. He uh, creates a memory page with the all uh, writes, write readable, writable, and executable. In statically or in dynamically, if you have a section with the three writes, it's not it's not norm, it's not um, um, a behavior, uh, a classic behavior. It's it's a process and allowing classic because the malware. Uh, after allocate the memory page, he push the code in the memory page and he execute, execute directly the code on the memory page. So the malware needs uh, all writes on the memory page. Okay. Up. So uh, you have. Um, a good description of PE format by uh, Angel Bertini and on corecami.com you you can download the different uh, the different um, uh, image and documents to describe uh, PE format, L format, uh, etc. Few words about uh, learning uh, machine learning algorithm. Uh, Someone, uh, somebody knows algorithm uh, or machine learning, or it's a uh, really new no. or you test to make code. Okay. So um, the difference between clustering and classification. Uh, clustering is automatic grouping of similar objects into sets in the different sets. So uh, you don't know your data set. You make a clustering. So you can, you try to uh, regroup 
similar object with different uh, characteristic. Classification, you know the data set. You know the data set. And you present a new object at your, your classifier. And the classifier say, okay, this new object, I, uh, for me, it's, um, it's this kind of family. And it classify like that the new uh, the new objects in different uh, families. So clustering is applied on dataset unlabeled. You don't know the you don't know your dataset, and the classification is applied on labeled dataset. You know the dataset, and you know the different families of objects on your dataset. For classification, we use a supervised algorithm because you know the family and you can supervise the, the algorithm. For clustering, it's an unpervised algorithm because you don't know at the beginning the different kind of family of your, uh, of your data set. When, um, when machine learning needs to make a classification of clusters, it needs uh, it needs of a vector of features. So you the, the goal is to describe an object with different features. For a malware, it can be the size, it can be the import tables, the number of uh, section. Be in median, uh, software um, legit has uh, five or six sections. If you have a software with uh, 100 sections, it's, uh, it's strange. So, like that, you can describe the different uh, the, the different file with uh, with a vector of features, and we. Um, we make, a, uh, we make um, a vector of features by file to classify or to, to clustering the different file. Each file has the own vector of features. The, dif the, um, the difference of uh, similarity and, uh, and distance, a distance is uh, the length between two objects. So, uh, in, uh, in, the, in the life, we use uh, Euclidean distance. When uh, you go to, uh, for example, to go to uh, Montreal, to uh, Quebec, the distance between the, the town is Euclidean distance. But uh, in mathematics and in physics, you can use many, many uh, distances. So, uh, and we, we, have a, we have a concept, if you uh, have object with a small distance, this object is similar, because the description, the, the, um, the vectors of features of two objects is very, very near, so the object is similar. But here, we mix the previous concept. We use unprovided algorithm on a labeled uh, dataset because we want to generate Yara rules by family of malware. So I need uh, a clustering, I don't need a classification. But to um, to check my result, I start on the labeled dataset because uh, if I don't make that, I can I can define a vector of features, but uh, my results are completely wrong. So I 
I must to uh, check each after each uh, operation if my clustering is uh, is correctly or not. The only way to make that is to use is to use a labelized dataset. So malware clustering. Why clustering malware? Uh, the first is to create a tool to catch a complete family. Why to catch complete family? Because, uh, for example, if you if you take uh, malware like Emotet or like um, Trickboot, you have uh, what, uh, ten sample by day new sample. So. Uh, it's very very difficult to uh, to store each signature for each file. Uh, many times, it's just compilation that has changed. The, the piece of code is the same, or uh, is the packer used by uh, by the the botnet? It ch uh, change the binary structure, but the, the payload is the same. So, if you can create a signature to catch a complete family, you uh, have a gain of storage and you have um, a scalable uh, solution. Another, uh, another way is minimize false positive. Uh, many, many um, Papers describe uh, uh, malware analysis, and at the the analysis is uh, very very good. But at the end, uh, the name of malware is wrong because uh, it's the very same between uh, another analyst or uh, the version of a malware or update. So uh, the um, the analyst think it's uh, a new sample. No, it's not a new sample. It's uh, a new version of uh, family, uh, known families. So uh, to to have different, uh, if you have different signatures uh, to catch a, uh, a complete family, it's more simple to uh, minimize false positive when you uh, make um, uh, when you make naming. And it's very, very useful to hunting a campaign because uh, all uh, all people push uh, malware on uh, virus total. So uh, I can just stay and uh, to wait to have the new sample to uh, to hunting the campaign. And the goal is uh, it's to catch uh, malware with uh, uh, a bad score on virus total and analyze why we have a bad score on uh, virus total. It's uh, a new packer, it's a new family. Is the signature is not uh, is not good, so it's, it's very interesting, interesting stuff. The first. Uh, the first tentative of uh, of clustering is uh, SSD with fuzzy hash. Fuzzy hash is uh, the concept is to create a signature for each file, and you want to compare and you compare the different the different signatures with a distance addition of amine. It's not uh, a clean distance. Is a, dis uh, a distance to compare to um, stream bytes, and you can compare. You can compare to uh, with addition distance, for example, a word for uh, with a dictionary. Is a word. This word is uh, English or German, or you have a, um, you have an, a distant addition distance between. Uh, between them. Two words, two the same words as uh, addition distance uh, equal at zero. It's normal because uh, you have the same letters and uh, 
On this example, you have uh, two uh, two different plugins. Plugins it's uh, it's a rat uh, used by an APT campaign or a Kramer a Kramer campaign. So the, you can see the the SHA two hundred fifty six is very different. Is is different. Now, if I um, I make a fuzzy hash. The format of the ACH is a flow. You have a chunk size, you have a chunk and a double chunk. And if you look, you have the same chunk size, and the chunk and the double chunk is very near. And if you uh, compute the addition distance between signatures, you have 75% uh, of matching. So with this dip, you you can try you can start uh, a first um, a first um, history. The problem of like that, if you have uh, many signatures, you have many 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 comparison of uh, uh, to, to make that because uh, the the complexity of uh, the the computation is in square, so it's not scalable, because scalable is, uh, is linear. Here, uh, it's a square compl uh, complexity of uh, computation. So it's many, many um, uh, used too powerful of uh, computers and memories and, uh, to, uh, to make a cluster with uh, SSD. If you have a little data set, it's very useful and it's uh, very, uh, very good. But we have a limitation. If you have two signatures and, of, uh, and the chunk size is different, the, uh, the, comp the computation of, dist of uh, aiming uh, distance he stops and the match is equal as zero because when you compare two objects in addition distance, this object uh, must have the same length. If you don't have the same length, you can compare. So if you have two malware with the same of code, but you have a section with garbage, uh, garbage data, the result of your matching is zero. But it's the same code. It's, it's, uh, it's the same code. Another tentative of uh, clustering is uh, PEH. PEH uh, uses the characteristics of uh, the PE format. And the clustering is possible because when he process uh, the, um, the hash, he computes an approximation of Kolmogorov complexity. Kolmogorov complexity is uh, in mathematics. It's to uh, know if uh, the pr two programs are similar or not. The problem with uh, the Kolmogorov complexity is impossible to calculate. It's just uh, a mathematical matrix. But you can uh, compute an, ac an approximation using uh, using a bi um, the uh, LZMA, LZMA uh, algorithms to compress, and uh, you, it's uh, it's possible to have an approximation of Kolmogorov complexity. The problem with uh, this uh, this PH if uh, it's impossible to compute a distance between two files and with two hash. The hash are equal or not. So you have different uh, different families with the same hash, with the same hash, but you can make a distance be, uh, between two different hash. So it's a kind of clustering, but you don't have a distance in different family. Another way is to use in patch in, in fuzzy. Uh, the idea of this clustering is that two malware have the same import table or near. They are from the same family because they use the same function of operating system. 
Yeah, I, uh, it's, it's a concept. Uh, in many times, uh, we have a good result with like that. And other times, for example, if uh, the malware is packed, uh, you classify the packer or you retrieve the packer. Uh, for example, uh, in campaign uh, to target Japan with PugX, the attacker um, use WinRAR with, to make uh, extractable uh, executable and the different uh, import table are uh, for WinRAR, not the, the real malware. So you classify WinRAR and not the, the, the malware. And in uh, VirusTotal, if you check the, the in-bash, you, uh, you have many, many uh, malwares, but it's not plugins. So it's not this campaign. It's another campaign or another packed malware by another uh, attackers, but not uh, the com uh, campaign uh, uh, we want to continue. Impash was created by uh, Mandant. Uh, the goal is to make an MD5 of uh, import table of the PO. Uh, Infuzzy is, uh, is the same concept but with SSDIP. Because with SSDIP, you can make a distance between uh, table import because you have distant addition uh, to compare two signatures. The problem of uh, Impash or Infuzzy uh, if the compiler change the order of uh, of the uh, table, the import table, you have a bad uh, the impasse or different uh, normally it's MD5 and the infuzzy match at uh, 40%. So it's bad. It's bad because of, with 40% you don't make a good assessment to uh, to know if the same family or not. Um, another technique is to uh, disass binary and generate the graph flow and compare the graph flow. Uh, oh, I make a mistake on the poly. It's Polychrome, the name of the, <laughs> the project. is a French uh, project, uh, French project uh, reverse engineer. The goal is to use a fuzzy hash on a graph flow instruction to detect uh, the same uh, the same block uh, but the same basic block or basic block very very uh, similar. Uh, Mashoc is the is developed by a, a French company named Conix. It's the same way, but it don't use MetaSM like Polychrome. He use uh, R2 to uh, decompile and to uh, to disaster the and to make to to make fuzzy hash directly on the graph flow instruction. R2 graffiti is just uh, to print to graph to graph flow and uh, is the analyst compare directly if the graph flow are similar or not. The major disadvantage is the scalability. Because, uh, like uh, when you make an SSD, uh, an SSD clustering, you have uh, a complexity of, uh, of query. So, st your strategy uh, for the scalability, we decide to use two algorithms, two unperverted algorithms. You, we use DBSCAN and KMIT. And the following dataset is uh, you can download on uh, this uh, um, in this repository uh, named the zoo. So the, the dataset is correctly uh, labelized by uh, by this analyst. So it's uh, it's very useful to uh, to to make cluster of, to design your vector of features to make clustering. Because in machine learning, the first problem is the design of vector of features. You must have a good vector of fiction of features to have a good classification or a good uh, clustering. When you make uh, when you make the clustering after you can 
um, directly uh, generate ERR by cluster. And if your system is good after a month, because you make anything and check the new malware with a signature by cluster is good, you can generalize the system with a, a, a data set bigger. But at the beginning, uh, I think the best is to um, start with a little data set. A bit math. Kevin's algorithm. Um, like that, it's uh, a bit, uh, a bit complex, a bit complex, uh, a bit, um, a bit complex. But uh, in uh, geometry, it's very simple. You make that the, the median of distance of the different object when you choose uh, an, uh, a centroid of each cluster. You choose a centroid of each cluster, and after after that, you compute the distance of each object with the different. Uh, the different centroid. If it's near, the object is on this cluster. So geometrically, it's very simple to uh, to to think. The the, pro the big problem with uh, Kamin algorithm, uh, we choose at the start the number of clusters. So, if you know the data set is, is, uh, is simple, but if you have a big data set and uh, we, don't, uh, we don't know a good comprehension of your data set, it's a bit complicated. So, the first step, you choose the number of clusters, you, cho you choose the initial cent centroid with um, compute an index called inertia. And with the best inertia, the algorithm say, okay, I find my centroid, I stop, I stop here, I use this centroid to make my cluster uh, my clusterization. And after the algorithm calculates distance between the K centroid and all vectors in the the different objects and construct K cluster. Exa a different example of, uh, of clustering of Kamins. So uh, it, it's very, uh, um, this algorithm is very uh, clever if your data set is uh, heterogeneous. If too homogeneous, the, this data set, this algorithm is, is bad. If you if you look this, the the border between these two clusters uh, is a bit strange. It's very very strange. Um, the second algorithm is the scan. Uh, the scan. Must know you don't uh, you, must, uh, you don't must you must know the number of cluster at the start. So the algorithm uh, makes the clusterization and at the end he said, okay, I found uh, 100, uh, 100 clusters and when he counts class, uh, cluster, clustering correctly an object, this object is. Um, a family, is this family is a noise. So it's, uh, it's impossible for uh, DBSCAN to classify correctly this object. Here, the noise is a black point here because the algorithm can't decide, can't decide the family of, uh, of the crystallization. But here, you have a, a good a good clusterization. Here, not. 
because you have um, the border is not correctly linear separated. So on uh, on the extremely on the extreme of uh, of map, you you can make a decision, but in uh, in Earth the the cluster is, it's more difficult. So the problem with P format is a binary, uh, binary file, and the vector of features is uh, different numbers or different metrics. So you must uh, we must transform a binary file or a vector of features. The first way is to extract all metadata of the peer on a JSON file. The name of a section, the number of sections, the size of malware, the entropy by section, uh, the resources, the kind of resources. You, um, you put all information in the JSON file for each, uh, each, uh, each malware. And after, you make a vector of features. What's uh, information very interesting in feature for uh, a, a malware is the sections, the name, the size, the entropy of a section. If you have uh, a high entropy, the malware can be packed or can be crypted. Uh, the import, the number of modules, the number of symbols, different functionality. It's a network, it's a to encrypt file, to open file, to open process, like that. The export and the size of file. So, uh, we make a first vector of features, naive vector of features, size of file, number of section, median of entropy, number of imports, and number of exports. And up. If how to make that on Python is very simple. So in the zoo, up. everybody can read. It's not too small. Okay. So it's a different file uh, in the zoo. So we have uh, 800 file, I think. Oop. Blah, 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 blah. Oop. Okay. Here, in this piece of code, I retrieve the metadata and I store on uh, the JSON file. And after that, I check the different collision and whoop, I make uh, I make my feature. I'll make my featuring. I describe my feature vectors: size of file, number of section, median of entropy, number of import, blah blah blah. And I put I put all information in Redis database. And after uh, on the first vectors, I design a matrix with a different kind of vector or features. And the, you have the shape of the matrix. Five is the name of the, the, the number of features and uh, 700 to uh, 24 is uh, the, name, uh, the number of malware. So I, I, have my, my, I have my matrix. And 
when I whoop, I reload my matrix. I record my matrix in a pickle uh, format. So be careful if you use pickle because uh, it's uh, on security uh, segment. It's a bit uh, uh, it's a bit dangerous. So I retrieve my uh, my chip for my, the same uh, matrix with the same uh, chip format. And blah. this is the help of uh, is the helper of um, of scikit-learn to use uh, to use uh, I use uh, scikit-learn to make the, the clusterization. Uh, you can use uh, TensorFlow for uh, by Google. Or you have different uh, open source, uh, but the scikit-learn the advantage it's uh, many many used by many people. So if you have a problem or a question, it's uh, it's more simple to have a, a, a support. So uh, I define the name, uh, the number of my clusters, uh, the number of the job, and I don't uh, pre-compute the distance of matrix because uh, it's uh, n square uh, complexity. And um, I compute and I make my clustering. Each number is. Uh, the label of the clustering. Um, on the top of left, it's the first malware and the, the algorithm classifier on the 41 uh, cluster. And the second malware is the 8 cluster, and like that. I can retrieve the clusters uh, centers. So I have uh, 90, 19 uh, centroids because I choose 90, uh, 90 malware. But my all, all malware, blah, 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 blah. And after that, I compute a distribution. And so you have the label on the left, and on the right, it's uh, the number of malware in this cluster. And if you if you make a point chart, you have uh, you have the distribution. So in uh, the cluster eight, I have. Uh, more uh, more million of my data set and in another you uh, you have different uh, different representative representative uh, cluster interesting clusters and many many in others why others it's uh, the cluster with uh, just uh, one two or three malware so I have many many malware uh, in different different clusters if I check why have and if I check the same thing with the DB scan so it's the same you load the matrix you call uh, dbscan uh, and you define for the, uh, or dbscan uh, min samples. Min sample is you consider if you uh, this number is um, is arrived by the by the algorithm. You make a family. So here, like my um, dataset is very heterogeneous, I. I put uh, in value one directly. If I I can a family with one value. I, my metric is uh, Euclidean and I define the number of the jobs when I compute. I retrieve uh, so I I make a distribution 
And if you if you check the first the the um, the cluster one, we have many 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 equation group malware. But we have we have full positive, but it's not it's not bad. In the twenty eight cluster, we have many equation group. But if I if I make a big uh, pie chart, I have this partition. So why have this partition? Because my data set is very heterogeneous, but we retrieve the same family, the cluster one of Kamins, of uh, Debescan and the cluster eight of Kamins is the same. So it's not bad, but in different, uh, if you check correctly the distribution, different family, you have different fault positive. Why different fault positive? Because you don't have normalized the vector of features, the value of each vector of features. And if we check the different vector of features here, the size of file is a feature with erased or other value. So you have another malware with the same size, he, uh, the, the classifier classifies this malware in this family because we don't, uh, we don't have normalized the vector of features. We have the same of Debiscan. How to normalize vector features is very simple. I choose the max of each values of features and divide it by these values. Now, all my values on my features is between zero and one. I make a second one with the same uh, the same input, but we have normalized the vector feature, so it's, a, it, um, it's the same call uh, in Cyclone. It's just uh, your input matrix change. I make the distribution and in the cluster zero now we have only one equation group malware. Only one, only one, only one, blah blah blah. And if I if I take an account in the level one uh, we have equation group, two equation group and a shaman. So we have two full positive on the first cluster. And if we make the same with DBSCAN, we don't have false positive now. So the, the first cluster we have here we have only a question group uh, malware and the another if you check another family the distribution tree is the cluster tree it's a volatile cellar it's just volatile cellar you don't have any, any malware of any family so for this data set my vector of features is good and it's enough because I have a good uh, a good clusterization for each family. Potato Express, do you do? Um, the different of each uh, equation group clusters, it's um, it's not the same version of uh, of the 
of the downloader. So it's normal if you have two families of uh, equation group. On this data set, uh, DBSCAN has a good result because uh, the, that, uh, our data set is very, very heterogeneous uh, with um, a family with one or two malware. And DBSCAN likes that to classify this kind of, uh, of malware. Yeah, all generation, quickly. So uh, I use a Yara generator. It's a, it's a soft by, uh, developed by uh, Xenophone. Uh, it's just the rule based on interex, intersection of strings. It's not like that. It's just that. Not uh, bytecode or not uh, ISM assembly or just uh, intersection of strings. And on the equation group clusters, um, I have uh, I make a rule and I put this rule directly on uh, on VT and uh, for the six months ago I found 39 new equation group uh, and yesterday I don't know why but a current guy Korean guy uh, upload 100 equation group sample different. Uh, on VT, I don't know why, but uh, I have the different uh, I have results on my mailbox. So uh, after uh, after conference, I check why. <laughs> and uh, but and the very important uh, ideas, I don't have false positive. All malware I found with this uh, Yara rules generates automatically out my my clustering uh, found uniquely a question group malware this family of equation group malware. If the malware change a bit, I don't, I, um, it's, it's, uh, I, I don't find, I don't find it. But it's, it's not my, uh, it's not my, um, uh, my mindset because I'm focused on this, uh, on this uh, family. So, uh, magic learning is not magic, like name, uh, like say the many wonders. <laughs> Uh, a big work of uh, featuring must be done, uh, inclu including of the data set. Here, uh, I have a vector feature very simple because uh, we have a, a simple data set. Uh, at BotConf, we, uh, uh, we made a keynote and uh, we explained uh, the, to make a vector of features of a data set of 2 million of uh, barrels. The video is, all, is on YouTube if you if you take a look. Uh, the machine learning is very useful to make uh, first filters because it's very scalable and to make different clusters and after you have made this uh, clustering you can generate different rules or uh, if you like IDA or DBG to, uh, to make a, a reverse or difference uh, or the, the centroid of each cluster for example. To, uh, to understand the family. Thank you. Uh, if you have a question about this presentation,